It is the 10th of the 11th, 2011, and this is today's climate change update. Well, I got another earthquake in Turkey, magnitude 5.7. Uh, they're reporting some buildings down, uh, including uh, some hotels where journalists were staying uh, to cover the, the last major earthquake that was taking place there. Um, of course, there are people hurt, and uh, it's a serious situation. So another earthquake in Turkey. Surge feared next after Alaska coast hit by major storm with hurricane force winds. Now this is the big storm out of Alaska everybody's paying attention to. Uh, of course, like I told you last night, uh, the Japanese are burning radioactive uh, debris from the tsunami and the Fukushima incident. And uh, those stacks are pushing that fallout into the atmosphere and it's mixing with the uh, jet stream. So it's another thing we need to be advised. Um, you know, snow does collect radioactivity really well. And we have a rare tropical storm forms in the Mediterranean Sea. A tropical storm, possibly a subtropical hybrid, has formed in the Mediterranean Sea. No, this isn't a typo. Take a look at the satellite imagery from earlier Tuesday morning below, circled with the white in the storm circle of France. In the west of Italy, click here for real-time satellite imagery of the system. Uh, this is that major system that's been causing all the flooding and stuff that I've been reporting on. Um, so, yeah. And it's just like south of France and Italy, like right here. So, uh, crazy. Tropical storm in the Mediterranean Sea. Well, we got a mysterious disease killing marine life in uh, Gladstone Harbor in Queensland, Australia. Uh, unprecedented number of fish with red spots, lesions, parasites, as well as dead dungongs, all those are the manatees, and turtles have been found this year. And uh, yeah, we've been reporting on that for sure. Uh, the Vietnam floods kill at least 100, so the number's up by at least 12 from yesterday. Uh, I'd say they prompted the evacuation of some 30,000 people. And, um, uh, that's another Alaska story where they evacuated some villages and some small islands. And, uh, like along the coastline of Nome. The cat over there playing. Uh, over to the extinction protocol. Extreme weather reported in skies over Australia. Uh, Vatican State. Victoria State Emergency Service has responded to more than 1,000 calls for help overnight after one of the wildest storms to lash the states this year. The SES rescuers responded to cases of flash flooding, hail damage, people trapped in cars, unroofed homes, and fallen trees. Yeah, I'd say that's a major storm. Well, they got some more economy stuff going on right now. Um, uh, apparently, the French and Germans explore the idea of a smaller Eurozone. Um, so they're basically going to cut Italy and Greece and Spain and Portugal and, and uh, um, Ireland to the curb and let them rot and uh, kind of consolidate their little power base going on. Um, this is another example of just the dominoes falling and uh, all according to plan, I guess. Um, and another story, blood in the water. Apparently the Dow Jones Industrial Average took a 400 point tumble. Uh, and again, that's such a manipulated market. It's it's like playing a, a rigged casino. Um, there's just, if you have money in the stock market, uh, you're gambling. And the turkey story. Uh, injuries and damages reported from a moderate earthquake in the Philippines. Apparently 5.2 magnitude earthquake rocked some parts. Uh, I'm not going to, of a province late Monday afternoon, injuring about 16 people, damaging several structures, including a shopping mall. And uh, this looked like it happened to the south of uh, the Philippines, southern Philippines, just north of Indonesia. Uh, drums of War. Former U.S. President George W. Bush delivers stark warnings to Iran and India. Uh, stark warnings to India and Iran. And, um, insane. If, uh, quote, if Iran goes after Israel, the U.S. will go after Iran. 
and, and just the normal stupidity that is George Herbert Walker Bush and um, insanity they've got the tropical storm in the Mediterranean and um, that's about all I have new climate change today uh, over to the nuclear stuff uh, Financial Times, this is Energy News, Financial Times, French, gover French government experts say 70,000 more should be evacuated around Fukushima after lowering limit to 10 microsieverts per year. Uh, another story, Japan-based author, Fukushima damage so great, Japan government won't go well beyond, uh, Japan government would go well beyond bankruptcy, up to 10 trillion U.S. dollars, says Tokyo professional, e uh, Tokyo professor, equal to ten years of national budget, and uh, and Sh Shuken Ash Ashai reporter says he heard ambulance comes to Fukushima plant at least ten times a day. Uh, they have a video uh, attached to that. And uh, the co-chair of Russia's Eco-Defense and others still fear criticality of Fukushima. I don't think there's a reason to say the situation has proved much, actually. And uh, that is a gross understatement. Um, these things are going China syndrome, for sure. They've proven that. And I got another report. Journalist gets inside Fukushima plant, says reactor number four of the spent fuel the spent fuel rods is completely exposed. You gotta remember that's the that's the reactor that was cold and shut down. The lid was open uh, when the earthquake happened, but it still had an explosion in its fuel pool and a lot of damage. Um, so their fuel pool rods are exposed, and you're talking 40 years of MOX fuel. That's the plutonium, the hybrid fuel, and uh, uranium sitting there exposed. Nice. And we have a decontamination scandal. Japan experts say government's just waiting for radioactive to decrease by itself. I really doubt they're serious, says Professor. And uh, NPR program practically begging for U.S. to make more plutonium-238. Supplies are running low. Enjoy while you can. Thanks, everybody.